night I was at the club at around, um, I was actually there at around one. So the incident that happened, the shooting actually happened after I left. Mm -hmm. But when I was there at around uh, between 1.30 and 2 in the morning, I was actually assaulted by uh, Babu Women's Security and the security at the So I came and I reported to Martha here. So a few hours later, I was actually called and told that the DJ had been shot. Uh, the DJ Evo, a DJ that I actually personally know. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I can say is that uh, his security had been act acting erratic. Mm -hmm. And uh, so probably that's what escalated and it has brought to what it is right now. Mm -hmm. So even right now, I've just gone and seen a doctor and uh, seen a lawyer. And uh, right now, I just came to put on my P3 uh, on the same case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, was there any confrontation, any provocation to private? Um, earlier, to, towards me, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened with the DJ, I cannot attest to that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I know Babu, I've uh, been out with him before and everything. But uh, yesterday, his security is the one. Um, after just, I was actually just, we were sitting. It was, uh, you know, just chilling, drinking. And um, there was an issue, a girl who was seated across from us. I was talking to the lady and uh, I think he was interested in her and uh, it's someone that I know but then the lady was not and uh, during after that happened his security actually pulled me out mm -hmm. when they pulled me out uh, he started assaulting me and actually insulting me mm -hmm. and this is when they were joined by the security of B club uh, specifically George Otieno who is a former police officer actually and I think he manages and heads the security at B club and he's the one who got extremely violent at everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so when he did that, I came down here and I reported the issue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, do you think what did the management say about it? Was there any response? I have talked to um, I have talked to the club owner very early in the morning. Um, Barry is the owner. I called him. Uh, he's very, he's actually very apologetic. I know him, and he's saddened by the issue that it actually it actually had to happen at uh, at his grounds. I have also talked to um, I've talked to friends of Babu uh, who just came to represent him, which I'm actually upset because they are mutual friends. As you can see, there's uh, there's been uh, radio presenters and uh, also politicians. You know, it's uh, perhaps or, uh, uh, we just met Jolano. They've come to you know, he's a friend, but when somebody goes wrong, he's wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think that you actually have to acknowledge that. And I think they are here to tell him that what he did was wrong. Oh, so what was the mood late after everything? Was there, was the club closed? Or I, I was not there after happened? that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Because I'd already come here at 2 in the morning. I reported the matter. I woke up my lawyer and he suggested that I did not go back to the club, okay. which I did not go. And when I went back to the venue, uh, which is actually surprisingly enough, the the video of the establishment has been deleted so my assault that happened wasn't on the now they're saying that the camera was offline which has never been every other camera is on but that specific one of my assault has been taken off yeah and about there's any relation with the dj who has been shot between no i know the dj i think we all know the dj he's a, he's a, he's a friend he's someone you know dj Evo. So yeah, I wish him the best of recovery. I hear he's in ICU, and I hope, I don't know. We hope that he gets out of this alive. Any information that they were fighting?